The beginning of this company really started with visits I used to make to my great aunt Lillian. Towards the end of her life and the photograph you can see, she's probably in her mid to late 80s. Uh, she suffered with venous leg ulcers. Aunt spent the last few months of her life uh, with her legs elevated and heavily bandaged. And she mentioned to me that although she had other morbid conditions, it was these leg ulcers that were so distressing. And not only the, the, the odour from the, the legs, but the pain was so indescribable. But this really fired me with, the, with an interest in, in thinking about how these wounds can be healed. It dawned on me that the logic that as we are mammals, we do nothing without oxygen. And in fact, nothing much happened on this planet before oxygen came along. Oxygen was the secret of healing leg wounds. A very simplistic view, I know, but one that I held in those days. I was in one of the pubs close to Cambridge and I met Professor Derek Frey and I asked Derek the question, how do I produce oxygen without pressure or chemicals? And uh, he kind of mm, scratched his head, uh, asked for another pint, I seem to remember, and, um, and said that, uh, come along to the department and speak to some of our bright young people. Over the next uh, two or three weeks, with the help from uh, Professor Frey, modified a sensor to be able to produce oxygen rather than hydrogen. The oxygen cell was designed and developed and made into the Natrox project. Natrox stands for natural oxygen. We basically produce humidified oxygen from the air and then pass that through a cannula to the wound site. The ODS, Oxygen Delivery System, it is delivering oxygen directly to a wound surface while not obstructing the outflow of extradate. Natrox produces pure humidified oxygen. Oxygen that has been tested to be 99.99% pure. Where we are now, we have 21% oxygen. Uh, from this incredible planet, from the equator to the poles, we have 21% oxygen. So the oxygen, the vital oxygen, the energy source for the reconstruction of tissue delivered by Natrox is actually worth five times ambient oxygen. So when grandma says wounds need to breathe, they need to be exposed to oxygen. This is precisely what Natrox is doing. It is delivering that vital oxygen. 